Futures trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello, hello. I am Joe Schmidt and joined as always by Rice Dairy Media Czar Paige Driscoll. And this is Basis Loaded, the now weekly Basis Loaded. Uh, you got to give the people what they want and what they want is more content. So let's uh, dive into the latest NDPSR report. Leading off, as usual, with butter. The butter number, this is the real champion of this week's NDPSR. Here at uh, 230.39, uh, this number is a blockbuster. It is three and a half cents over the CME weekly average for the week. And really quite impressive that they were able to get these values in. What I would like to note is yet yeah, this is a high value but it is on low volume only two and a half million typically the average volume for butter is three and a half million pounds and lately we've had some really big weeks uh, five million going further back eight million and what we thought was happening is that those were sales from the manufacturer that were outside of contracts um, and even with those extra sales in the butter basis held up pretty well. Now that we're just relegated to contract sales only, the basis has gone out even further. So really impressive and uh, sheds a little light on the relative ease that manufacturers are having moving butter right now. Uh, moving on to the blocks. Now this is where the story changes just a little bit because the basis here is a little bit different than prior weeks. Here at 163.32, I have that as 32 cents over the two week block average. So a little bit disappointing because the basis in blocks have been the real story the last few weeks, starting with this March 16th number. During March 6th, the week ending March 16th, the week ending March 23rd, and the week ending March 30th, we had really impressive block basis. Uh, the NDPSR printed three and a half, three to three and a half cents over the CME weekly average. Now this week, uh, it is only printing a third of a penny over. What's interesting is prior to this March 16th, the basis was very similar to this week's. So let's go back and look at the chart of the May class three and this May class three I would show this as kind of the week ending March 16th. So when we had a shift in basis the futures then proceeded to move exponentially higher almost a dollar rally. When we had a negative basis that's when futures were largely under pressure. So now we've had this shift in basis in the block moving from three and a half cents over to only 0.3 cents over. And here we are with the May futures making uh, highs for the year. So what I feel is interesting is that the basis shift when we moved from a par to maybe a little bit premium basis, when that shifted to three and a half cents over, futures were able to rally. Now basis has shifted the other way and could possibly be the precursor to uh, futures going down and testing this 1550 level. We'll see, but uh, spot needs to follow through. The second cheese number here is the barrel number. Barrel number is even more disappointing than the block number. I have this barrel number here at 155.96 as a, th as a third of a penny below the CME weekly average. So the barrel's actually running a negative basis. And that also is certainly a little bit of a change from the last few weeks where it was carrying quite a bit of a premium. And uh, certainly the past few years where we had grown accustomed to barrels trading anywhere from four to six cents over. Moving on to dry way. Uh, this dry way number, probably also a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, as you have the 38.59 print here. Again, steady volume, with uh, which we're going to say that 6.2 million pounds is going to be the expected volume when we trade 20 or so 
loads of uh, spot weigh at the CME. But even with that consistent volume at the CME, they were still able to break the NDPSR weigh value almost a penny and three quarters. So this weigh number is at 38.59 is still seven cents over the CME weekly average. And the CME has gone up a little bit, but even with that increase at the CME, I would uh, continue to expect the NDPSR values to trend lower. And lastly is nonfat. Nonfat coming in a little bit higher. Impressive nonfat. Uh, this is on steadyish CME weekly values. So the fact that the manufacturer was able to get even 50 cents higher is impressive because the CME was steady. Again, big weight moving all the way across. Uh, as far back as you can see, moving north of 25 million pounds per week. Uh, it's very impressive. The manufacturer is staying clear. But again, this basis is negative to the CME weekly average. It's almost a third of a cent under, and uh, overall futures are under some pressure after the release of this report. All in all, I would have to say that this report is a little bit of a disappointment, especially when it comes to class three. April class three currently trading 1590. Uh, that's a seven cents off of its uh, trading price prior to the release of this report. So the lower way and the uh, barrel and cheese basis constriction uh, seems to be taking its toll on futures. And honestly, this is the first week of pricing for April and doing my math, uh, I still feel even at seven cents lower at 15.90 that it probably is still moderately overvalued. Uh, so we could see some um, lower values ahead depending on what values at the CME do. So that's all I have for you this week. Uh, until next week, I'm Joe Schmidt on behalf of Paige. Uh, thanks, have a great day. Thanks for watching RDTV. If you enjoyed that, be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, leave us a comment below or send us an email. You can also follow Rice Dairy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. See you next week.